Hey everyone, so thank you to everybody who suggested films for my next installment in the A to Z of films videos. It was quite a long time ago. So I have three films. We have D, E and F. I'm not at home so I cannot bring up the list of people who requested these, but if you were one of the people who requested one of these films, thank you very much. So for D we have The Duff, and I didn't think I was going to like this, but I actually thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. The Duff, Duff stands for Designated Ugly Fat Friend, which is obviously not a pleasant term, but it's kind of something we know exists in a concept. It's a kind of plain Jane friend that makes the make, makes it easier to, to approach the sexy, hot, long, blonde-haired girls. You know, it's kind of what it stands for. And that's addressed in the film. And the reason I loved this so much was, first of all, the story didn't feel that cliche to a lot of other teenage films, but I also loved it because I loved the character of the Duff the girl who is playing the Duff. Not just because she made references to Bella Lugosi and Vincent Price, but I think there's a lot of me in her. She's very down to earth as well. Um, kind of not superficial in the slightest. I love her approach to things, I love her response to situations. I think she's a very realistic character. And so for me it all kind of grew around her, which I guess was the point. And I did, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it. And if, like me, you're not the biggest fan of teen films, don't worry. E, we have Enchanted. Wow, I mean, I'm a big Amy Adams fan. Anyway, a growing Amy Adams fan. And this I love. It's kind of a parody of a fairy tale, but also in support and praise of the fairy tale story as well, because it is very romantic. Our enchanted character, our little future princess, goes from being an animated character to appearing in the real world in America and becoming Amy Adams. And that it's a concept that's not completely unique. A lot of people cross over from animated worlds into the real world and we see it with the Smurfs. <laughs> Top of my head, the Smurfs. But I love the enchanted figure. I think she is beautiful and I can't remember her name. I absolutely cannot remember her name. I'm appalling. Wonderful, wonderful story. I'm not Again, I'm not the biggest fan of fairy tale stories. If they're dark, like Maleficent, I love it. But if it's all lovey-dovey beautiful, I'm, you know, like Cinderella. The only reason I really liked the Cinderella film recently was because HBC was in it. But this was cute, very sweet, and I just think the enchanted character, who I will keep calling her that until I remember her name, was a delight to watch. Amy Adams is always a lot of fun, and I think the story flowed well. Uh, there weren't loads of cliche moments, and there were just loads of little funny things, very comedic, and a very good, kind of feel good film that you want when you just want something to relax to. Yeah, I don't think anything I just said there made any sense. And thirdly, for F, we have Forrest Gump. I'm sorry, but I don't think it was as fantastic as what people say it is. You know, there's this whole Forrest Gump is one of the greatest films ever and you've got to see it. I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, I thought it was good for anybody who hasn't seen it, which is probably, probably would have just been me, to be perfectly honest. It, it's told in narrative by Forrest Gump in his later years about how he started his life as a little boy with braces on his legs and then he by some miracle learned to run and he never stopped running and it's all about his journey through life. It's a bit of a misfit and he joins the army and and what happens there and what happens to his character and there is obviously a love story running through it. So yeah, in terms of narrative development I think it was fine. There was nothing wrong with the script that I could see. The acting was fine. The directing was fine. I just think to me it felt nothing different. I don't know. It wasn't a bad film, I enjoyed watching it, but you know when somebody says you're gonna love this film and it's fantastic and the best thing ever, you kind of set your hopes really high. So if it doesn't quite meet that bar, it's just not as good as perhaps you were hoping. So, two really wonderful films and one film that was pretty alright. Please let me know if you have any suggestions for the next one, which is G, H and I. I will try and do this more soon than I have left the gap between these two. Any other suggestions for videos you'd like to see, let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!